Moving right along to exercise 6D of getting to know ArcGIS desktop for ArcGIS 9.3, we'll be looking at using graduated and chart symbols in our map on, uh, on Africa. Go ahead and open exercise 6D. This time we will be uh, doing two maps, and one is on um, diamonds, different diamond mines that are there, and power. So let's get right on, get right started, uh, and looking at diamonds in data view. Let's see what what data we have. So right clicking on mines, open attribute table. Well, we have uh, mines in different different countries. Uh, the symbology, they look like they're the same, but we can see in the data that there are different sizes, and these sizes were ranked, where a small mine was a 1, a medium mine 2, and a large mine is a 3. Okay, so how do we show that in our symbology? Let's go ahead and get rid of the attribute table. Uh, Double-clicking on mines, the symbology. Bef uh, before, we went to quant quantities and used graduated colors or dot density. Dot density is no longer a choice because it's not possible to calculate dot density since in this data table we have we don't have area. Instead, uh, we will decide to use a, a graduated symbols. What graduated symbols basically means is that the size of the symbol uh, will be proportionate to something such as size rank. So here we have a symbol. Uh, if it's a 1 in the size rank field, then it's a, a small. If it's 2, it's a medium. And if it's 3, it's, it's a large. But, um, yeah, the symbol, let's change the symbol because, well, the first is a diamond, the others are circles. So we'll use a template. We'll go ahead and go to uh, find the diamond, diamond 4, we'll use. Uh, and we'll change the color to um, the book asks to use electron gold. So go ahead and locate that electron gold. Uh, the size at this moment we'll just leave it as it is. We'll be changing that shortly. Yeah. So in, to change the size, you can do it here. So the symbol size will range from. We'll make that a five, so it's not quite as big, and make the second one sixteen so that the level ranges um, are not as, 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 as large of jump. You can also uh, label them differently than just 1, 2, or 3. Let's call 1 small, 2 medium, and 3 large. And that will just, you know, in our, in our, uh, in our uh, key, it'll be easier to, to understand that. Go ahead and click Apply, and now you see the changes have have, have uh, automatically taken place. the The key in the upper left has changed so that you can see small, medium, and large, and those are are rather evident. You have the small mines, medium mines, and the large diamond mines. Now we've, we're finished with the diamond map. We'll move on to the power map. Uh, minimizing diamonds, maximizing power, and activating power by right-clicking and choosing activate. Yeah. Now we are looking at the power uh, layer. Let's look at the data that we have here. This looks like the population data, but there are a few new fields: a fossil, hydro, and other. Are those. Uh, that's hydro. Uh, fossil fuel is uh, the amount, the percentage of the power uh, used by this country uh, by fossil fuels, by hyd hydro fuels, and other, such as solar. And let's see how we can possibly um, use a sim classification. Go ahead and open again the layer properties symbology. Go to quantities, uh, of course, and this time we will use. Actually, sorry, we'll go to charts. Um, and for our purposes, we'll we'll use a pie chart. 
and we want to choose fossil fuels, hydro, and other. Don't worry about the color scheme. We'll be changing that directly. And that is in step 16. What colors do they want? Well, let's see. For fossil fuel, they suggest a Mars red. For hydro, uh, is a... What was that? Muria blue, which looks like water, obviously. And for other, well, it's something like a, like a solar yellow. There we are. Okay, that looks appropriate, but uh, this background color, uh, that, that might be a problem. So we'll go ahead and change the background color. Choose default. Um, go to the Sahara sand, which you know, seems appropriate for, for Africa. Um, the outline color, we can change that to a gray 40%. That's fine. The size, it's going to be a little bit big. Uh, for each, some of the countries are quite small, so it just won't, it just simply won't fit in. We'll change that to 16 um, so that it will fit in. Okay, let's click apply and see what we have. Well, it's a little bit difficult to read um, because it's, it's shown in three dimensional portrait. Um, and because it's in three dimensional portrait, you can't quite get the, uh, uh, the part ch you can't really read the part ch chart too well since the symbols are so small. So let's go back and uh, click on uh, on the Blyers property, click on properties and a chart symbol editor window will open and you can click here to, to uh, change the display from if it's check marked, it's in three dimensions if it's not check marked then it's in two dimensions um, and because it's in two, men two dimensions, it might, again, like the book suggests, be slightly too big for, for our purposes. So we'll change the size to a more manageable 12. And go ahead and click OK. Yeah, that's much, 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 easy to, much easier to, um, to see. Um, just go ahead and look at our, po our finished poster. And there you are. We are ready for um, our Geography Awareness Week presentation. The book suggests uh, printing this out um, because we're now finished with this project. And we're also finished with Chapter 6. So um, if you're finished, save it. And if you would like to continue on to Chapter 7, you can do that now.